talk about cultural context. We're going to spend the next couple of sections looking at this aspect. It's a big deal. So we're talking about setting everything up so we dive into the meat of some other aspects of international business. I want to make certain that we cover the cultural context because it differs. You may be from this country and you come over here. Your values, your ethnocentricity is all focused where you came from, where things are focused in on this small window that you have, but you don't see the perspective in this window over here as you go through the process as well. You just never saw that picture before. And at first, you look at it and you're totally puzzled by it, and then you kind of start seeing how the pieces interfit as you go through. And we're going to talk about several different things when you try to look at high and low types of contact as you go through. They're very different. So we're going to sit here and we're going to talk about it. We talk about high context cultures where a lot of communication is conveyed by the context or the surrounding aspect as you go through. Longstanding and close communication tends to be implicit and indirect. They make the assumption that this is the protocol that you follow. And if you don't sit down there, you don't know the rules, you haven't been trained, you haven't sat there growing up in that culture, and you sit down there and you walk in and you stumble as you go through. You go in Japan and you sit down and immediately start talking business over a meal and don't go through the political niceties, you're going to lose a business deal in the process. You have to know some of the aspects of it. By high, high context, you, it is conveyed a lot by body language, by the closure or the openness of the person, by places in the room where somebody stands. Okay, this is the appropriate place for the leader to stand. Then who talks first, the leader or the fledgling newbie that's coming through, the intern in the process they go through. The situation that's there plays a major role. If the head person doesn't initiate the conversation, okay, then should the head person on the other side initiate the conversation go through? Or should they sit down and have people of equal rank talking to each other before the big shooters in the room, before the big shots step forward and start talking in different aspects? In the low context, there's a lot of direct, unsubtle, unambiguous. The words play a major role as you go through. So high context, the setting plays a major aspect into the communications and the dialogue that happens as a result of the context that's around them. In the low context cultures, hey, how you doing? Man, it's really cold outside. You have a different type of thing. Words play the major role as to what happens over there rather than the context playing the role and watching all the subtlety as to who goes first and who doesn't and who's holding back on information. In low context cultures, most communication is carried in words. Really, the US is a low context culture. We spend a lot of time paying attention to the meaning of words as you go through, not by the setting in which the words are said. So we tend to be kind of monochromatic, just what was that over here? What was that over here? And by the way, you said that, so we're going to take you to court if you don't sit down and support what you said. But that was just talking as you went through. Oh, no, no, we talked about this whole thing. We came to agreement. Agreement. Tell me one time I said agreement. So you have those kind of dialogues where a lot of times somebody just a simple nod of the head disagreement, and that's almost enough to sit down there and bind the two organizations together. But in the low context cultures, communication is carried in words. The things that are said and the context in which they were said is not as meaningful as they are in high context cultures. So we talked about the two aspects. Here's a good slide. It shows the compare contract. High context, low context. The high one. It's less verbally explicit and it's less written or email situations as you go through. It's more internalized understandings of what's going on, what's being communicated, the long-term relations, the strong boundaries as you go through from insider versus outsider, and knowledge of the situation and the relationships that are involved. The low context, rule-oriented, people play by external rules. Sometimes if you don't know the rules, hey, well, now what about this over here? You can actually ask. If you ask in the high context culture, you're going to be censored in the process for being ignorant and viewed as an outsider even more than you already are. Low context, more interpersonal connections of shorter durations. You may have a lot of different aspects to deal with. High context, long-term relations mean a lot. And for you to ask somebody to break that relationship really can be very difficult, maybe even dangerous for you in the process. Here is, a, is an order you kind of see in Japan, high context, Proper etiquette, proper socialization as you go through. All the way you come down to the German system where everything is very casual, what's said goes. High context, human resources. 
okay, in the process, you'll see the low context as you go to the human resources, the focus is always on words, what was said in writing, what was said between the, that aspect of it, what are the proper rules to follow, so you have that, and you'll see also the relationship as you go up and down the process as you go through. Here's another one. Um, between uh, the, the two of these here, the cultural orientations framework. It really classifies cultures based on five universal problems. We'll cover several more of these as you go through, but it really has the five problems. What relationship should people have to nature? What sorts of relationships should exist among individuals? How about modes of human activity? What's the best way to think about time? It actually varies between cultures as you go through. What's the basic nature of humans? That's who they are, or humans. This is what you expect out of them as you go through. A, a large amount of context, it plays a major role in all communication. We talk about high context, body language, places in the room, the order of speaking. Those are very important in negotiating a deal as you go through. Low context, direct, unsettled, hey, what's going on? Unambiguous. Context matters. Take care.